Yeah. <gasps> so this happened in my eye. I originally was doing a colorful, somewhat simple look, and then it exploded. So I'm gonna be doing this look. Um, it's kind of like a really extreme drag burlesque kind of look. I know I have glitter and eyeshadow all over my face, that's because you should do this before you do your foundation, but I wasn't that smart today. So, first you want to start with an eyeshadow primer. I use Urban Decay Primer Potion. And you want to put this all over your eyeball. Well, not on your eyeball. That would hurt. Yes. <laughs> now I want to take um, everything is ex this is what it looks like when I start creating just everything all over the place everywhere so I'm starting off with a white eyeshadow I'm using um, Gesso by MAC this is my first MAC eyeshadow this and the black one because I've never had it before. You don't need MAC eyeshadow. It's just nice. So it's just a matte white. I'm going to be putting this on the inner corner of my eyeball. Yes. This is just like a tiny blending brush. Now I take my big fluffy brush and blend it out. And then on top of that, I'm taking a CoverGirl eyeshadow, and it's a frosty white, and it's, I feel like it's called Snowflake, or just, ooh, Snow Blossom or something, I'm not sure. But any, like, shimmery white color is good. Okay, now, I want to keep... For this, actually, what a good idea, take some translucent powder or your face powder, whatever, and dab some under your face, under your eye. So if anything falls down, you can just swipe it away and it won't stick to your skin. So now I'm taking a matte black, and this is Carbon by MAC, and I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm going to put this all over the lid. Yeah, see fallout. Fallout is a bitch. Don't like it. And I want to blend it into the white. And it might seem kind of See, it got down there. Like, why? I don't know. It felt like it. So now what I'm going to do is take... Wow, wow, my desk exploded. This is an elf thing. I got it for Secret Santa. Michelle gave it to me. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> it's really creepy. And it's just the glitter eye I'm taking. This blue... These are actually pretty darn good, except for this annoying plastic flap that you have to fold up and it makes me an angry person inside. And See, this is kind of difficult for me right now because I started out doing something totally different on this eye. Like, I originally had purple on the lid and I put black over it, so I'm kind of... I don't know what I'm doing completely, but that's okay. Do, 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 and blend it. And this is one of those looks, it looks disgusting until the end. And you kind of just want to blend that, like, almost all the way up to the brow and right under this part of your eyebrow to bring in some depth. Depth. And now I want to take this out. See how it's kind of like winged? Kind of? Sort of? Yes? 
to do that. Ha! <laughs> ha! Looks wonderful. Wonderful. Now, I feel like I'm gonna fly away with these eye. These are like the most obnoxious eyelashes I've ever worn in my life. But I love them. Like I would wear this out. I would say grocery shopping, but like, what's the point? But I mean, if I had to, I would. I wouldn't be ashamed. Hi. Forgot that I tell you what I do. Putting black in my crease. Which, I mean, I'm sure you can pick up on. I'm sure you're all very smart people. I love you so much. You just leave it like that. Don't even blend it. You don't even need to. I love it. You do. Always blend. If you don't blend, I'll punch you in the face. Mimi! Quite hot dog, I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. Talking like that made me think of Sherlock Holmes. Who saw Sherlock Holmes? I did. Who loves Sherlock Holmes? I do. I haven't read the books, though, so I really can't. Which I'm kind of glad, because I don't want to compare the two, because they're all like, um, in the books, like, Watson and Sherlock, well, Watson and Holmes aren't, like, homosexual at all. And I was like... It's because they're two attractive men in a movie. They're going to make them seem quite gay, and I love it. Like, Robert Downey Jr. wore makeup. I was happy with life. I enjoy Jeremy Estates. Men in makeup, anyone in makeup, is a wonderful thing. It's an eight film. So, most of this is just I'm showing you how I do it, and you do it. My technique. Um, now I'm gonna take it and is it able? It is like this. And so professional, I scare myself. All these techniques. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ow, my eyeball is like dying. Yeah, this eyeball was getting scratched to death by an eyelash that wanted to fold in and constantly scratch my eye every time I blinked. Goddamn eyes. So just... This brush... I don't care what brush, you could use your finger. I don't know if it'd work for this look, but I mean, I'm sure it's possible. See... I see, I, I do think so. So that looks about even. Now I need the blue. So taking that blue again. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. So I was watching LA Ink before, and that's kind of where I got the whole colorful thing, because I love Pixie. Yeah, I'm like 5,000 years behind. I don't care. But Pixie, she has like these lime green cool glasses, and the... I don't know what they're called, dimple piercings, I can't think. And they're pink, and I'm like, oh, colors. But it just totally failed. But I like this look, so it's okay. So, now, this is oh, the best color in the world. Do, do, do. This is... <laughs> My 120 color palette eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. Look at all these colors. I love this because it was cheap. It has pretty much every color and yeah because I I like colorful looks but for the most part I don't wear colors every day but when I do it's like one palette and it's a cheap price so it's it's amazing and it's great when you don't even know what the hell you're gonna do like get a natural palette and get this and just go to town. I mean, the first time I used this, I was so overwhelmed. I put, like, all the eyeshadows on my face, and I was like, I don't understand. It's so wonderful. Anyways, 